Hi, I'm Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. I think I've gone crazy, totally crazy. Oh my gosh, you're gonna think so too when you see this bag and what's in it. Um, okay, hubby gave me some money for my birthday. I got another gift of money for my birthday and I don't know, I didn't, just couldn't think of anything to buy with it. So I thought, how about like a totally indulgent thing that I would really just, you know, crazy. So I took that birthday money and I went to the fabric store. Now this is a fabric store I've been to before. I'm wearing a make from this fabric store and I wore it that day so they would see it on me. This is one of my hoodie dresses, one of my favorites. I love to wear this and um, it's super comfy. Although one time when I wore it, my sleeves were bothering me. So I cut them off and they're still cut off. <laughs> like I didn't have it. <laughs> Maybe I won't, I don't know. Uh, they seem fine to me. Uh, also, somebody asked me, uh, did I line my hoodie, the hood part? And no, it's not lined. Look, it's just fine. I mean, you know, when you buy a sweatshirt jacket with a hood, they're not lined mostly. And I don't think it needs it. It's just a hoodie dress, you know, playful, casual. Love this. So I wore it there and um, um, <sighs> it's a great fabric store. It's very inexpensive fabric, you know, $5.99 to $7 pretty much in there. I didn't see anything expensive um, higher than that. So it's kind of freewheeling. You can just feel like no guilt at all, right? So um, I wanted to show you a video, a little bit of video of the store. So this store is called, I think it's High Fashion Fabric on Franklin in Sacramento. If you're in the local area, it's a fun store to go to because it just is like a warehouse full of everything sewing, not just fabric. They've got tons. I mean, trims, you want trims? Let me show you trims. need trims I'm totally going back there so I'm going to open this bag because I don't remember what's in here like literally this is going to be a two-part video because this bag is full of patterns so just a sneak peek of what it is is tons of simplicity they were 99 cents at Joann's last week and um so I I bought a bunch at a buck I just got everything I thought I could possibly want I have a lot of simplicity already. My son bought more than I did. He's new to sewing. I already had a bunch that I, I didn't want to buy anything I didn't like. Okay, so that is coming in another video. And this is fabric. Oh my gosh. It's almost too heavy to even carry. Uh, pause. I gotta untie this. Untie? No. Okay. So right on the top, I asked them if they had leather strips because you know I got into these purses I'm loving. I made quite a few and um, I never made one with a leather handle like the person who made the video had and so they didn't have leather strips. But he suggested why don't I look at their vinyl and so I bought a few little tiny pieces. They don't look so tiny now but I thought they were tiny, half a yard. I got this brown and it's very pliable so I think I can turn it like that and have a handle. And then I got this black, which is just plain, but it's really nice. And then I got this tan. And then he suggested if I wanted it to stand up like leather, he had this, oh, I'll have to find it. He had this boning and I said I would try it. So we'll see. This is on the back burner, but handles. Oh my gosh, handles are expensive. Leather handles, very expensive. This huge piece, so a handle could fit here. This is 18 wide and her handles were 16 wide. So obviously they're gonna go this way. So think of how many handles I can get out of this. Quite a few. And so this piece of vinyl cost $5 because it was $10 a yard and I got a half a yard. Same on these, $5, five, 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 five dollars. So how much would handles be if I filled up, if I made handles out of every single 
bit of this fabric, which I won't because, you know, I don't want to make that many purses. I will lose interest. But, you know, you always could use little pieces of leather for this and that. You know, when I made my Yellowstone jacket, I bought leather to do like a cute, some cute little leather details. So I will not mind having this in my stash for when you come up with some inspiration. And these are three colors that would just go with everything, you know, a brown, a tan, and a black. Maybe I should have got navy. Hmm, this will be fine. Okay, this fabric is a rayon, super stretchy. Let's see, oh, both ways. How gorgeous is this? How gorgeous is this? Now, I don't know the prices on everything, but they were anywhere from five to five ninety nine to six ninety nine. I don't think I got anything higher than that, but if I find my receipt, I will show you. But isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. I think this would make a great frugal frock. The one that I just showed you, the fit and flare dress, did you see my last video? If you haven't, take a click on that. This would be great with that. And um, the underneath is not pretty enough for a flutter sleeve, so we'll have to keep trying on that. She, she had a hard time folding this up, so it's just in a bunch. Uh, this is the only piece I bought um, that was the home decor because I was just in love with it. Wouldn't this be a great tote bag. So this one, I only got a half a yard because I didn't need it for much. I'm going to make one of those tote bags with it. So there's that. Okay. This is a rayon, not stretchy. I'm trying to work my way into trying to make a few things that are not stretchy, but oh my gosh, I love this so much. Isn't that pretty? I just have found over the years that I look best in some primary colors and brighter is better. Um, I do wear some pale, but not super pale. If it's super washed out, like a mauve, even powder blue, sometimes it just gets too washed out and I wash out. But these brighter colors, oh, I just love them. Plus, it's just my personality. I just love this pattern. Love it. Love, love, love. Red and pink and orange, not colors you normally would wear together, but it works. And I love anything Asian influence. I just love Asian art. If you've ever looked out my window, oh, that's Indian. I love like any kind of other culture. It's just so nice to surround yourself with all that art. It's so gorgeous. So that reminded me of that. All right, so let's put that right there. All right, this one is more navy and it is a stretchy. So, oh my gosh, look at these big flowers. I don't like little florals. Just, I like a big, bold floral. And this one's going to be gorgeous. It's super pretty. It's stretchy, so it could be anything. I have no idea. I don't have a plan for any of this fabric. Um, this one's kind of in that same vein. It, it actually, it's got like a little bit of orange and a little bit of, um, you know, um, lilac and navy. It's just so pretty. I think it's so pretty. Another big, bold floral. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. I love it so much. All right, let's put it right there. This one is more of an abstract, and it's definitely just a like a rayon. I, I don't know what to call it. And no, I didn't take pictures of any of the ends of bolts again. <laughs> I'm just back into mystery fabric again, just like always. Why should I make it easy on myself? I didn't think of it. I was too excited about all these fabrics. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Summer dress. It's even art. It's even signed by the artist right there. Isn't that cool? Gosh, I love this so much. I do not have anything this color. Not that I'm aware of. This one was really cool and so sort of different for me. Um, but I just loved the pattern so much. These are a little bit lighter, but they're still bright. Isn't that pretty? And I just, I've just been hearing somebody said they liked coral and I'm like, I need more coral in my life. And this has that coral feel to it. This would be cool. Even with a coral trim uh, to a dress, that would be really pretty. It's an obvious print, so I would have a challenge because I'm kind of challenged on stuff like that, but super pretty, super pretty. Oh my goodness. Do you see this mountain? You're, you're thinking I'm crazy, but it was an indulgence. Don't forget that. Nothing practical about this shopping spree at all. I thought this is like my favorite colors. And I just love, love, love this pattern. Oh my goodness. Not stretchy, 
not stretchy, not stretchy, stretchy, not stretchy, 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 not stretchy. So love these colors. This is just spring. Isn't it pretty? It's got a little paisley. I am in love with paisley. Paisley is a thing. Um, if I'm trying to find things that I like, I usually type the word boho and online and I get the kind of funny prints like this and this. Um, oh, here's the boning. So basically, it's just for making things stiff. So I could enclose it in those leather, ha uh, those folk, 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 fake faux leather handles and it would make them stand up like the one that the lady did. Her stood up. And I like that. Okay that goes there and then this last piece was kind of an impulse at the last minute it's um four-way stretch so it goes stretch stretch and I don't know if it's the right thing to use but it would be a cool bathing suit if not maybe a bathing suit cover-up but or a dress <laughs> so I love this color isn't that really bright and pretty oh like that honeycomb sort of print Okay, that's it. Uh, what have I done? Well, I have to say, if you saw my frugal frock video that I just posted, um, I had trouble cutting that fabric because I loved it so much. And um, it was easy to cut when I knew I had this bag <laughs> because the pressure's on to get some stuff made. Um, I already had fabric in my stash before. But I didn't have a lot of spring and summer because um, with COVID, my sewing went up a notch and I did a lot more sewing. So I didn't have a super huge stash going in. I just had a lot of old fabric that I didn't love. And so I was trying to use some of that up. I gave some of it to my son. And um, I wanted things that I would love to, to work on and love to wear. And everything here just excites me and delights me. So I do have some... I'm looking up at my fabric stash. I do have some great fabrics, but I had a lot of winter. And so I'm ready to move to summer and spring. And oh my gosh, I need to just go like crazy with making stuff. Maybe not go shopping anymore. But that's my haul. What do you think? Have I lost my mind? <laughs> Want to go shopping? I am the enabler who will make you buy more fabric that you don't need or want, but you will love. Uh, so watch for some of these fabrics to be showing up in my makes coming up soon. I just can't wait to see what they're going to be. And I, I do have some ideas, uh, some dresses that I've already made that I want to remake. And I love remaking because it's fast and easy. And so I will do a lot of remaking just to use this fabric up so I can get it in my closet. That's where I really want this fabric, in my closet. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for part two and we'll talk about some patterns and maybe the two will meld together and become clothes I can wear. Pretty excited about that. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're on Facebook, come find me and let's be friends and we'll visit and uh, we'll keep in touch. Does that sound fun? And uh, come back for part two and see what patterns I picked up. And I have to figure out where I'm putting all this. <laughs> so back to putting it in my stash. Hey, if you didn't see that video on me, um, organizing my stash. This will absolutely take up a whole basket, but I have a basket of fleece that I'm going to store away for the winter. So I'll put this in the fleece basket and then I will have um, it to, to look at. When I look up there, I'll be inspired because I love, I love looking up and seeing my fabric. In fact, I'm missing that pink fabric from my frugal frog. I know that it's gone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye now.